This is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale and this is its transmission, the new 8-speed with dual clutch. This transmission is 10 kilos lighter than the earlier Ferrari 7-speed. A part of the reason is it doesn't have a reverse gear. Yes, that's true, no reverse gear. So how does this car even go in reverse? Let's untangle in this video. In this era of EV revolution, as all old players are getting serious about EVs, finally Ferrari is also now getting a bit serious. Even though they haven't made any EV yet, with this SF90 Stradale, they have at least started making a serious production plug-in hybrid. The SF90 Stradale has IC engine producing 769 HP. There is one electric motor on its crank and there are two electric motors mounted on the front wheels. Combined output of all of them is 986 HP. The car has 9.7 kWh of lithium-ion battery in it. As it has this much electrical system, the weight of the car was already increasing. So to reduce that, Ferrari decided to skip out on reverse gear in the gearbox. Still, the car can actually go in reverse even though it doesn't have a dedicated gear in its gearbox, thanks to its hybrid powertrain. When the reverse is to be taken, the logic board declutches the rear of the powertrain from the wheels and only the electrical motors at the front drive the front wheel so the reverse is pure electric. Cool concept. Apart from this, the front motors can also be used to drive in pure electric e-drive mode in which it can go up to 26 km. As default, the car runs in hybrid mode where the car drives only in EV at slow speeds and the engine kicks off only when it's required. The car also has a performance mode where the engine keeps running to keep the battery fully charged by charging it via the rear crank mounted electric motor which is technically a MG UK. This helps to keep the car more responsive for optimum performance. There is also one qualify mode where the engine and batteries perform at its full capacity to get you go as fast as possible. And that's all about it, the Ferrari with no reverse gear in gearbox. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new, go check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for the new ones. If having any question or comments, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now, I'm signing off and see you guys in the next week.